The case of Lacey Fletcher is one of the most gruesome displays of neglect and vile parenting I have ever seen. She was found melted into a couch where she had sat stagnant for 12 years, left to rot by the parents who birthed her but never wanted her. When I originally decided to do this video, I'd known a little bit about the case. I thought it might be an interesting topic, but the more I read, the more sick I felt. If you don't know about the Lacey Fletcher case, I advise you to click away because you're about to see one of the most disgusting examples of how cruel humanity can be. Trust me when I say this story is evil. Lacey Fletcher was born in 1985 to Sheila and Clay Fletcher. She grew up and eventually lived in the very wholesome sounding Slaughter, Louisiana. When she was a kid, she was diagnosed with Asperger's, which progressively got worse as she got older. By the time she was 14, she was almost completely nonverbal and most certainly on the autistic spectrum. She was quite active though. She loved to play volleyball. She didn't have that many friends. And unfortunately she was bullied while attending Brownfields Baptist Academy. Her parents, devoutly religious, decided to take her out of school and she was in ninth grade to homeschool her. But this is where things change. Her parents imposed a huge blanket of isolation over their household immediately. Visitors were banned and nobody saw Lacey for almost 15 years. On the 4th of January, 2022, her mother Sheila makes a call to 911 claiming that they've just found their daughter dead and unresponsive. Authorities arrive and what they met with is a site that made even the most hardened investigators need trauma counseling. Lacey Fletcher had been homeschooled by her parents, but very briefly. Sheila and Clay hated their daughter. They resented her because of her cognitive disabilities and because of that, they neglected her. They would privately tell their friends that they did not sign up to be caregivers when Lacey was born and that they feel that even though she has a disability, she should be able to take care of herself. When authorities found her body, she was on this couch. One of the first responders described the scene as the following. Her face is covered in large and angry red blotches. Excrement is smeared over almost all her body. It is matted in her hair. It is even inside her ears. There are maggots and insect bites all over her. Lacey had apparently struggled with something called locked-in syndrome, which is exactly as it sounds. She was able to think and process, but she wasn't able to physically move. Now, some physicians have disagreed with this. All that we do know is that she was not able to move and she was able to move, if at all, very, very little. Her muscles had decomposed from literally not getting off of that couch for 12 years. For those 12 years, Lacey had depended on her parents to wash her, feed her, and help her go to the bathroom. They left her. Like, literally left her. They would go on vacation for days on end and leave her sat there. If she needed to go to the bathroom, she just had to do it where she was sat. As she progressed through age, her clothes stopped fitting her and it would slowly tear away and her parents would just leave her. When she was eventually found, she was found naked apart from one shirt that barely fit her and barely covered her body. She was barely fed. She weighed 44 kilograms when she was discovered. She was covered in bed sores and maggots were eating away at different parts of her body. The rest of the house around her was clean, but her parents had left her to sit and stew in a mixture of her own urine and feces. Because of this, her back and her buttocks had fused and melted into the couch around her. This was probably the worst for me, was that during an autopsy, Corin has found her own feces and pieces of couch and cushion underneath her fingernails and inside of her stomach which shows that in her last few days, she was so hungry that she ate her own waist and bits of the couch around her to try and survive. She developed sepsis and died shortly after. It was also noted that she had COVID-19. Her parents were arrested and trialed shortly afterwards. Sheila, her mother, cried profusely in court. She claimed that the two of them really did love their daughter, but they just didn't want to have to deal with the hassle of taking care of her. Thank goodness the judge saw right through the both of them, and those two pieces of human garbage were eventually convicted and sentenced to 40 years in jail. 
The amount of neglect that I read about when doing research for this video made me feel physically sick. Lacey needed her parents so bad, but they were too useless, too lazy, and too pathetic to step up and be the parents that she needed. Instead, they let their only daughter die in the most inhumane way. She didn't deserve this, not one bit. Rest in peace, Lacey.